it is a choice for him to implement extremist policies that have taken the lives of 2,500 British Columbians every single year. Since the NDP has asked him to reverse course on his and formerly their radical policy, 22 British Columbians have died of drug overdoses. But he continues to allow those drugs to kill the people in our hospitals and on our public transit. When will we put an end to this wacko policy by this wacko Prime Minister? No, no, no. That is not, there are a couple of things which are going on here today, which is not acceptable. And I ask all members, please, to keep themselves, to control themselves. I'm going to ask two things. One, I'm going to ask the Honourable uh, Leader of the Opposition to withdraw uh, that term, which is not considered parliamentary. Mr. Speaker, I replace Wacko with extremist. He is an extremist. The Honourable Member to please. I'm going to ask the Leader of the Opposition once again to just withdraw that comment, please. And I'll invite the Honourable Member. I'm going to ask. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition to please withdraw that comment and simply withdraw that comment. I'll replace it with radical no, I'm a, policy. I am not asking to replace. I'm asking the Honourable Member to just simply withdraw. Mr. Speaker, I replace the word wacko with extremist. I'm going to ask the Honourable Leader of the Opposition one last time to please withdraw that comment and simply withdraw that comment. I simply withdraw and replace with the aforementioned adjective. Mr. Podiev, I have to name you for disregarding the authority of the Chair. Pursuant to the authority granted to me by Standing Order 11, I order you to withdraw from the House and from any participation by video conference for the remainder of this day's sitting. Mr. Speaker, the leader opposite is showing us exactly what shameful, spineless leadership looks like. He shakes hands with white nationalists. I'm going to ask the Honourable Member from Lethbridge if she has problems with the chair that she should challenge the chair in a way, but as she knows, as the Honourable Member from Lethbridge knows, that by challenging the chair is against the rules of this House. I'll ask the Honourable Member to please to ask her to withdraw her remarks. Is acting in a disgraceful manner. I'm going to ask you. Will you? Ms. Harder, I have to name you for disregarding the authority of the chair. Pursuant to authority granted to me by Standing Order 11, I order you to withdraw from the House and from any participation by video conference for the remainder of this day's sitting. Now back to the issue at hand. Mrs. Thomas, my apologies. 